Well, yesterday I made 20 lows. I do it when I need it over here, and need is spelled two different ways. Uh, but when we run out of bread here, then I have to make more. But it's at least once a week, and oftentimes twice. And it turns out that gives us about a ton of bread a year. The starter that I, or the batch that I made yesterday was 21 pounds. So that's a typical batch. Well, if he had a machine, he'd wear it out every week. Because when you're making 18 loaves and can only make one loaf at a time with a bread machine, he would have that poor thing running 24-7. So no, there's no way that he could have a bread machine. The reason he always tells people that he shouldn't have a bread machine is so he can work out his aggressions on his bread and not work them out on me. But in point of fact, of course, he would never lay a hand on it. So. Okay, where did the starter come from? The starter actually came from Germany originally, and it was brought over to the United States probably in the early 1800s. And I was passed along to um, a former mayor, Mayor Louis Welch, from whom I got it. And uh, I've given the starter to people literally all over the world. I wish I knew more about the chemistry. And one of these days I'm going to uh, really learn what is going on chemically. Uh, I know how to make it, make it where it tastes good but I still don't understand fully the chemistry that's involved.